In a pulse chase experiment, an investigator tracks the progression of a radio-labeled molecule, such as an amino acid, through a cell. Before the experiment begins, protein molecules are being synthesized at a steady state through the translation of mRNA by ribosomes. The pulse phase of the experiment begins when investigators add a large dose of a radioactive amino acid, in this case, leucine, to a cell's culture medium. Thereafter, the radioactive amino acids are incorporated into the proteins manufactured during protein synthesis. The chase phase of the experiment begins when a very large amount of non-radioactive leucine is added to the sample. After the beginning of the chase, no more radioactive proteins are made. This is the basic design of a pulse chase experiment. The experiment results in a short period of production of radio-labeled molecules, which can then be tracked within the cell. In 1955, Scientist George Pilati and his colleagues used a pulse chase experiment to determine the roles of the rough endoplasmic reticulum, or rough ER, and Golgi apparatus in the production and secretion of proteins. They studied pancreatic cells that specialize in producing and secreting digestive enzymes. Let's look at the experiment as it would appear to a researcher. To begin the experiment, the researcher adds a large dose of radioactive leucine for the pulse phase. The investigator tracks the positions of radioactive proteins by fixing a sample of cells at different times during the experiment. The fixing process effectively freezes the protein molecules in their locations at the moment in time when the cell is fixed. The cells are prepared for microscopy and overlaid with a photographic emulsion, after which the samples are developed. The radioactive proteins produce black spots on the emulsion's gray background revealing the locations of the proteins in the cell. If the researcher fixes the sample a few minutes after the pulse begins, radioactivity is observed only in the rough ER. The researcher then adds a large dose of non-radioactive leucine for the chase phase of the experiment. Samples are fixed over the next two hours to track the progression of the black spots, which represent the radioactive proteins. Using this type of experiment, Researchers learned that secreted proteins move from their site of manufacture in the rough ER to the Golgi apparatus, then to the secretory vesicles, and finally to the cell's exterior. Now, let's interpret the data for this pulse chase experiment using an illustration of a living cell. The green triangles represent digestive enzymes destined for secretion. The pulse phase of the experiment begins with the addition of a large dose of radioactive leucine to the cell's culture medium. The radioactive amino acids enter the cell and are incorporated into new proteins indicated by the red triangles. The chase phase of the experiment begins with the addition of a very large dose of non-radioactive leucine to the culture medium. Newly synthesized proteins now lack the radio-labeled amino acid. The radio-labeled proteins, which began in the rough ER, have traveled to the Golgi apparatus within 10 minutes. The proteins then move through the cisternae of the Golgi apparatus. After a few hours, they're shuttled in secretory vesicles to the plasma membrane, where they're released outside the cell. This pulse chase experiment established the path that secreted proteins take from their synthesis in the rough ER to their release outside the cell.